And so as mayor of Belize City, I come here to bring greetings from those back home to recognize and appreciate your great and awesome contribution. The people in our diaspora community are so important to us. And one of the reasons why we have come to Los Angeles is because this is the place where most of our population live outside of Belize. So it is important for us back home, part of the government and those who are not part of the government, to have deep and abiding relations with you, to engage with you as often as possible, to tell you how much you mean to us back home, and to recognize all that you have done. I have been in Las Vegas for three days, and I came here for five days, and I've been talking to Belizeans and hearing about how many things they do for people back home. It's scholarships, it's visiting, it's sharing ideas and expertise, doctors, people sending resources, people wanting to start partnerships. That is very important and that is central to our visit here. That we can recognize what you do and we can formalize greater partnerships and greater relationships. And this is our heart and the purpose for which we have come. I've also, in thinking about this Tom Bradley, because it can never escape my mind, and I will go back to Belize, and I'm sure I'll mention that sometime, and somebody will say, hey, Tom, and I'll stand up and i say, that's me. <laughs> but when you talk about Tom Bradley and you talk about Daryl Bradley, another thing that I was thinking about is the idea of connectivity and connectedness and how important it is for us to recognize that, yes, we are distinct people, we are unique in our own way, and we all offer something to God's great creation. But within our distinctive groups, we all form part of one human family. We are not separate. We are connected and we are linked in more ways than we are different. And so in recognizing that there is a Tom Bradley and there is a Daryl Bradley, we also recognize that there are great linkages between Los Angeles and Belize. Of course, we are vastly different in terms of our economic resources. We have distinctiveness that separates us greatly from this awesome city of Los Angeles. But more, and looking beyond those distinctiveness, we are very similar. I was sitting here listening to the playing of the national anthem of the United States. And I was trying to sing it in my mind very unsuccessfully, trying to remember the words. And when you remember that anthem, I remember when I was in school, it is a song about freedom and hope. That when you think about the individual who was on a ship being sent to a fort to defend his homeland, being thought or thinking that his homeland had fallen to the British, he, very cold and afraid, even contemplating death as a soldier, and as he approached in the dawn, the one thing that he saw that gave him a boast of hope and inspiration was his flag. And so Americans sing about overcoming obstacles. They sing about freedom and the abiding hope that all people have to better themselves. And this is the same hope that we have. Because when you sing the Belizean anthem, what is it that we sing about? We sing about freedom. We sing about tranquility. We sing about our awesome beauty in terms of nature. And you start to recognize that beyond all of our differences, we're all the same. We all want the same things. In your coming to the United States, you all wanted to make yourselves and your family and your community better. And so we think about all these ways that we can connect. And I am so happy tonight that there are so many members of this body who are Belizean and we recognize and appreciate that. But there are so many other people who are friends of Belize, people who contribute 
to our development. And so we recognize the city of Los Angeles for making a home for people, for appreciating the value that you bring to the human race. Your thoughts, your ideas, your experiences that you want to come here and you're contributing to the development and distinctiveness of the landscape that is the United States. And so it gives me great pleasure that in coming here, representatives from the Los Angeles city government opened their hearts and in many cases their homes to welcome us, to share ideas with us and experiences and to extend a hand of friendship for partnering with Belize. We are grateful for Flaviola, for the awesome work that she did in coordinating this visit and really extending to us her hand of friendship. We had tremendous access to some of the city officials. I had lunch with the mayor. He is an awesome and charismatic individual and very much a personable person. He spoke very fondly of the contributions that Belizeans have made to the diversity that is Los Angeles. We had the pleasure of meeting with senior leadership in all aspects of the LA city government and they really gave of them their time freely to engage us, to share with us, and to challenge us. So we are very, very grateful and we hope that you will communicate to the highest office our sincere gratitude in the welcome that we have received. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. I'm Glenda Wiener with the Los Angeles County Office of Protocol and on behalf of the Governing Board of Supervisors of the County of Los Angeles, sir, uh, which is the most populous county in the United States with more than 10 million residents and has 88 cities besides the city of Los Angeles, which is on crown jewel. <laughs> I would like very much to welcome you to Los Angeles, and I would like to just share very briefly what this says to the, to the Honorable Beryl Bradley, Mayor of Bay City, on behalf of its more than 10 million residents, the Board of Supervisors of the County of Los Angeles, is pleased to join the Honorable Roland York, Consul General of Bay and welcoming you to Los Angeles. We wish you a most successful visit and many fond memories of your stay with us. So sir, welcome to Los Angeles. And incidentally, uh, Mayor Tom Bradley is on all the lists of the greatest mayors of the 20th century in the United States. So be introducing Dara Bradley, who is mayor of the city of Belize, and I am of the opinion that he too would like to make an introduction. <laughs> Good night again for the third time. I really enjoyed tonight, most importantly because of the company and the fellowship. I wanted to, and I'm always remiss for doing this, introduce my lovely wife, Julian Ellis Bradley, and to go again my wife is from the lovely island of Jamaica, Caribbean integration. Uh -huh. So thank you. Love. Love.